following is a production of Cary TV, the town of Cary's government access channel. to order our April 27th Town of Cary Planning and Zoning Board meeting. We will begin by adopting our agenda. I don't believe there are any changes, so can we have a motion to adopt, please? I'll move to adopt. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. We have a motion and a second discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries unanimously. Um, and then we have a presentation of a Volunteer Appreciation Month proclamation. And frankly, I don't know what this is, so we're going to find out right now. Uh, well, I have a proclamation to present to you this evening. Unfortunately, the uh, council liaison to the board was unav unavailable tonight to attend, so I want to present this proclamation on their behalf to you. Um, as you know, this is a, or as you may or may not be aware, this is a volunteer pre appreciation month in the town of Cary. So this proclamation is uh, designating April 2015 as Volunteer Appreciation Month in the town of Cary. <clears throat> and it reads, whereas the Cary Town Council recognizes their board, commission, and committee volunteers for their selfless commitment to the Cary community in April 12th through 18th, 2015 is designated as National Volunteer Week, which is about inspiring, recognizing, and encouraging people to seek out imaginative ways to engage in their communities. It's about demonstrating that by working together in unison, we have the fortitude to meet our challenges and accomplish our goals. Whereas the town of Cary has an outstanding group of citizen volunteers on the planning and zoning board whose unselfish efforts help to shape our government and offer valuable insights that can affect positive change. Whereas PNZ board volunteers utilize their time and talents to make a difference in the town of Cary and to inspire and help us to be mindful of our social responsibility and accountability to our citizens. Whereas the Cary Town Council recognizes the value of PNZ Board volunteers, a dedicated group of individuals who are vital to the present and future of our community. Now, therefore, I, Harold Weinberg, Jr., Mayor of the Town of Cary, North Carolina, on behalf of the Cary Town Council, do hereby proclaim April 2015 as Volunteer Appreciation Month in the Town of Cary. And I thank you for all of, your, all of our Planning and Zoning Board volunteers and their dedication and service to the town. Thank you. That was very nice. Thank and this will be available for you, Chair. After the meeting. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> uh, next, we need to approve the uh, meeting minutes for our April 16th regular meeting. Do we have any adjustments, additions? If not, can I have a motion to approve? Sure, I have a motion. We have a motion, motion. from Nancy to approve. Do we have a second? I'll second. We have a motion to second. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries unanimously. And uh, then we are going to drop down to the only remaining item on our agenda, which is a case that does not have a public hearing. 
is case R, uh, 14 REZ 17, the Ridgefield Farms. Ms. Beerman is going to educate us. Good evening. This is a request to rezone about 80 acres on Ridgefield Drive. This property is on the east side of Green Level Church Road. It's north of McCrimmon Parkway. You can see McCrimmon Parkway just slightly to the south of the property. This is a closer aerial view of the southern portion of the property, just to uh, clarify the property lines. There is um, this uh, rezoning request includes most of the lots that are included in the Ridgefield Farm subdivision. There are three lots that are not included. Uh, this is one of them that is actually a flag lot that extends from Ridgefield Drive, so I just wanted to show that to clarify the boundaries. The existing zoning on this site is R40, residential 40, and the proposed zoning is R8, conditional use. The zoning conditions that are included uh, include limiting the land use to detached dwellings at a density of 1.8 units per acre. The minimum lot size would be 20,000 square feet for those lots with frontage and direct access onto Ridgefield, <coughs> Ridgefield Drive and a 10,000 square foot minimum lot size for other lots in the development. Also, the perimeter buffer is proposed to be a 20 foot type B buffer except for a small portion of the site where a larger buffer may be required based on the use of the adjacent property. This is a graphic uh, to show the um, <coughs> perimeter buffers. Um, the green areas, the lighter green areas, is, are the property line segments where the required separation or buffer between the adjacent uses, it would be a 20 foot, um, 20 foot type B landscape area. This would be located within the lots as opposed to uh, on a separate lot owned by the homeowners association. And then you can see um, there is a, a proposed daycare center to the south and the buffer against that would be 40, um, 40 foot. On these areas that are shown uh, just with the black line, uh, there is no buffer requirement there because that's adjacent to open space associated with the adjacent uh, development. The proposed zoning condition would in include a minimum 20 foot type B buffer that would include the area shown in green as well as the um, remainder of the property line that is shown in black along the perimeter. And with the 20 foot type B buffer, the buffer area, that 20 foot uh, foot area would actually be owned by the homeowners association rather than being on the individual lots. There are also some zoning conditions related to traffic mitigations. Um, basically these conditions result in an additional uh, north and southbound through lanes on most of the area along Green Level Church Road between McCrimmon Parkway and O'Kelly Chapel Road, and this is accomplished through a combination of widening and restriping of existing pavement where widenings have occurred in the past. This shows the land use plan. This is in the Northwest Area Plan. There is a note associated with the property uh, where these <coughs> lots may convert from the very low density residential um, development, which is their current state, to uh, low density residential when at least three lots um, that are adjacent are consolidated or assembled, and that is the case with this proposed development. There are several stream buffers shown on the property according to Cary's GIS maps. Field determination of these features would be made at the time of the development plan review. This shows the uh, existing and proposed greenways in the vicinity according to Cary's Parks and Greenways plan. And this shows the designations of the roads in the area, the uh, roads in uh, the pink color, Green Level Church Road and McCrimmon Parkway are major thoroughfares. And then you can see in blue some uh, existing and proposed collector roads in the area. According to Kerry's uh, transit plan, there is a future C-Trans route um, that would be uh, proposed along Green Level Church Road. There were no protest petitions received. 
at the public hearing, one speaker did express support with um, some questions regarding the potential for mass um, grading. Uh, just from an informational standpoint, based on the density, the land development ordinance does limit the grading to the roads and utilities with individual lots graded separately, so the mass grading would be prohibited based on the density. That concludes staff's comments, and I'll be uh, glad to answer any questions. Thank you. And that, since we have no public hearing, we can go right into questions. I just have one. The flag lot. The access to the, if the flag lot were included, we would still have that buffer on either side of that long strip going, would, would that still be required? Because it's uh, an access? Or, or would that? Um, in the, um, because of the, there's not a buffer that's required um, <coughs> between that area now based on the lot sizes. Okay. But the condition that's been offered by the applicant is a 20 foot buffer along the entirety of the perimeter. Okay, but not required if it were the other way. Yes. That's all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Other questions? So, I don't know that this is a question. I tried to wade through the description of all the traffic improvements. Mm -hmm. um, I guess my question is, is there any particular thing that they decided not to do that would be problematic, as in no one else would be required to do it as development comes along? Uh, there are a couple <laughs> of um, areas where with development that may come forward in the future that would be along uh, the frontage of properties that may be um, developed in the near future. Uh, and that would, that would take care of the, uh, basically the completion of the full section along. Uh, okay, so there's no section. gaps that are gonna be left because of something they decided not to do. Not with future development. Correct. Right. Okay. Somebody's going to be responsible for all of the pieces that are going to make this road whole. That's correct. Okay. Well, this isn't necessarily germane to the rezoning case. Uh, we've got a couple of wedge lots along 540 um, <clears throat> that are not included in this rezoning. Um, are they part of the 540 right away allocation or are they? No, they're separate lots. They're, uh, this lot is a part of the, um, believe, let me see. They're individually owned. This, uh, this lot is part of the adjacent open space, I believe. But hold on, let me go back to uh, refresh my memory. This lot uh, is part of the open space for an adjacent development, which is why there's not a buffer required in this area. This lot potentially could be developed. And then there's open space from the adjoining um, development along the northern border. Thank you. Other questions? There are no further questions. Do we have a motion? Well, do you have something, Mark? No, I don't. No. If there are no other questions, can we have a motion, please? I'll make a motion. Thank you. <laughs> I was scratching around for the number. Uh, I move that the board, board case number 14 REZ 17 to town council with a recommendation for approval as it is consistent with the comprehensive plan and all other applicable plans and is reasonable and in the public interest for the reasons set forth in the staff report and presentation. Do we have a second? I'll second. We have a motion in the second. Discussion. Carla, do you want to tell us why you made your motion? I, uh, I like the idea of the low density residential. Um, you know, I realized originally this was medium de density residential and I, I missed the part where they came in with the land use plan change. 
but I think this looks great. I think it gives a variety of, of housing out here and it looks like they've taken care of all of the requirements. So it uh, looks good to me. Mark, anything to add? No, just concur with what's already been said. It it's, uh, seems like an appropriate density <clears throat> for this particular location. Uh, and I certainly feel that uh, proper steps have been taken with regard to roadway enhancements along this area, which is always one of our concerns. I was glad to see that made as part of the conditions. Anyone else? I am challenged with the projected range of additional students, um, but it is at least low residential, so I will keep my mouth shut this time. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't approve anything in Wake County that isn't likely to have some additional students. And this is this is a um, skeleton in our closet that's going to come out and rattle every time we have to. Well, I just rattled a little quietly and put it back in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there is an elementary school coming down the road, so that might help. And we hope they go very some quickly. of your issues there with lack of uh, school. There. Or at least we hope that one gets school. built very quickly. I think it's been approved. And we hope so. We still have the problem in middle schools. Yes, we we just had the commissioner's town carry meeting, and we are still lacking middle schools out there. If no one else has anything to add, let's call it to a vote. All those in favor of the motion as stated say aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries unanimously. Uh, and I don't believe we have any new or old business. And I'm grateful to say we don't have a need for a closed session. So I'll take a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I will second. We have a motion to second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries unanimously. And I think we just broke a record. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the clock. Visit the Town of Cary's website at townofcary.org.